Good evening, everyone. My name is Kenya Delegi. First and foremost, it is an honor to be able to participate in this fourth annual CUNY SPS Fellowship Reception and to be able to celebrate the academic achievements of my fellow scholars. I would like to express my gratitude for the generosity and the benefits and spirit of the donors, specifically you, Mr. Alan Fisher, without whom none of this would be possible. A little background about me. I was born and raised in Brazil. I moved to the United States when I was a teenager. I learned English, and fast forward a few years, I went on to college and I earned a bachelor's degree in biology with a minor in psychology. I was involved in a few research projects that afforded me the freedom to explore and refine my skills as a scholar and strengthen my inquisitive mind. My colleagues and I conducted a research study which concluded with the publication regarding identification and mapping of a prostate cancer susceptibility gene. A few years after that, <laughs> I was offered a job as a biochemist in the R&D department of a diagnostics company, a position which I thought would last a few years, but I was there for about five. A lot of personal and professional growth took place throughout those years, and I continued to apply all of the lessons learned from each role into my day-to-day -day activities. Currently, I'm a quality assurance nurse working at Partners in Care, part of BNSNY. And I am also a student working towards completing my BSN with CUNY SBS. I tell you all this for one simple reason to emphasize that even though you may be good at something and successful at something, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's just something you're meant to do. I have met a lot of people who have settled for the place and position they were in, and I encourage each of you to follow the path you wish to take and not the path that, that fell in front of you. For me, I knew full well that my path involved more direct patient care and somehow implementing changes to positively impact healthcare as a whole. Though I started my nursing career later than most, I did not let that sense of what the ideal was supposed to be inhibit what I felt where I should be and where I wanted to be. I then decided to begin my nursing career with BMCC, wherein I obtained my associate's degree followed by my RN license, something that I am very proud of. I had chosen to do this because at this point in my life, I was eager to pursue my nursing career and finally do what I wanted to do. Due to financial constraints and family responsibilities, I had to figure out how to pay for my education out of pocket. I saved up, I took a class at a time when I couldn't afford to do anymore. At times, the constraints and struggles between balancing school, personal life, both full and part-time jobs were intense, to say the least. Often I consider quitting this pursuit, I must admit, and not just because of the financial commitment, but more importantly, I was not willing to sacrifice my educational goals but not allowing sufficient time and dedication to my studies. It is important to note, I had considered many venues for financial help, but because I already had a bachelor's degree, I was not eligible to receive a lot of different types of funding. It was not until the ACE Scholarship Committee accepting my application and granting me this gracious award that I was finally able to fo focus on my nursing career. As a result, I was recently selected to join the CUNY SPS chapter of the National Society of Leadership and Success, also known as Sigma Alpha Pi. And I genuinely believe that this achievement would not have been possible had I not had the opportunity to devote my efforts to my education. The removal of the financial burden of having a New York school education is a relief only my fellow scholarship recipients may be able to appreciate. Last but not least, my freshman year with CUNY SPS, I was an ACE mentee myself and had the guidance of a great mentor, Neil Gruber, and having that virtual presence to hold my hand through the first semester with CUNY SPS was truly priceless. He guided me through technological challenges painted realistic expectations, and gave me tips for success which I currently share with my mentees. As an ACE scholar, I am now a mentor to incoming freshmen, acting as a resource, guided them through the online learning environment, and hopefully taking part of the efforts to improve first year retention rates. For this and more, I am very grateful to all of you, and I can only repay you by excelling my pursuits and demonstrating the impact your generosity has in the future. 
I assure you that your contribution and trust in the people here will extend beyond this room and reach deeply into our communities. I sincerely thank you again. Thank you.